Hey everybody, David and David here from PayItForward.com and Upphone.com and in this video we're going to explain what to do when your Android won't charge. First things first, even if the screen is totally black, it could still be a software crash. Mm -hmm. So when the software crashes on any phone, it can get stuck on a black screen, so you're plugging it in and it looks like it's not charging, but the phone is actually on and it's just stuck. So to hard reset your Android phone. Yeah, we have a Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. We do. We're gonna press and hold the volume down button and the power button together and just keep holding until the Samsung logo appears on the screen. So this phone is working properly, but just keep holding and keep holding. Don't give up too soon. That's where people make a mistake. And right about now. There, there we go. go. Okay. Yeah. It's only off by about four Pretty seconds. Close. Yeah. So if that worked, that your phone turned back on and you see it's charging, congratulations, problem solved. Right. What so, if that didn't work? Right. And another, I think the most common reason why Android phones of any kind won't charge is that the charging port itself gets dirty. Mm -hmm. There's some lint that gets stuck in there. Yeah, pocket lint, debris, you drop it in the sand, yep. the beach or something, I don't know. Right. So what do you do? You grab your anti-static brush or your brand new toothbrush. You just kind of yep. scrape around in that charging port, try to get some stuff out. Again, this is a pretty new phone, so there's not much gonna be in there, but if you have an older phone that hasn't been cleaned in a while, yep. you're gonna, a lot of stuff's gonna come out of there. Right, don't use anything metal or conductive. Yep. So I've seen people try to use their SIM tools before. You can actually do damage to the components in there just to use an anti-static brush or a toothbrush you've never used before, like David said. Yes. Mm -hmm. The next thing to do is just to try different cables, different adapters. Yeah. Sometimes your cable can be frayed on one end. Yes, yeah, cable's in good shape. All of our yeah. stuff's in good shape. It is today. Yeah. Yep, and you've got a couple of chargers yeah, you got over a couple there. Of, you know, you try, you try a couple wall chargers, try right. your car, try your USB port on your computer. Right, even an Apple charger. Yep would work. It would. In a pinch, it's a USB port, so yep. it works out. Exactly. Yep, USB-C. Just try different cables to charge. Yes. Try friends. Sorry, there Abs we go. Absolutely. Right, the next thing to do is just to turn the phone back on, and we're going to check to see if it's an operating system bug, because sometimes the phone could be charging, mm -hmm. but it just says it's not charging. So let's turn the phone on. One of the things I love about Android is that there's an app in the Google Play Store that you can download and see exactly what's going on with your Android's battery and even all the technical stuff. So that app is called Ampere. So we're gonna go to the Play Store yep. and just tap search in that search box at the top. We already searched for Ampere, A-M-P-E-R-E. -E. Just tap it there. Yep. Top result, there it is. Let's tap install and tap install again. Waiting for download, 2%, night. wow, 99%. Installing. Wow. There it goes, all right. Wow, I didn't even know if we had to fast forward through that, that part. Probably not, that's pretty cool. Let's tap open. Measuring, data protection consent. No, thank you. Cool, we will not collect your data through this app. All right. Right now, it's going to measure the battery status, and we should plug it in just to see what changes within the app. Okay. So can we use your computer? Uh, presumably. We tapped okay, and now we can see the status here is charging. We're plugged into a USB charger. It's pretty cool. Yeah. If you don't see the green charging icon and you just see this orange discharging, mm -hmm. it says under status, it's on battery. That means that we need to move on to the next step. What's our next step? The next step is to reboot and try charging in safe mode. All right, well, how do we get into safe mode? Press and hold the power button, just like you're gonna shut it down. Yep. And then press and hold where it says power off. Yep. And then tap safe mode. You got it. Little icon. Now it'll reboot. All right, you can see that we're in safe mode because it says safe mode in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. How neat right. is that? So we can swipe to unlock, just plug it in, see if it charges. If it does charge, you probably had a software problem. And Let's there see. are a couple of things that we can do to try to resolve that software problem. Yep, it says I am charging right now. Presumably yours is fixed, David, although yours was never broken. Yep. What we want to do next, let's say that all of these fixes haven't worked so far. Or you're in safe mode, it works, and then you come out of safe mode. Let's just get back into out of safe mode mode. So press and hold the press power button. Power button. Yeah. All right, so we're restarting. So we restarted the phone, we got out of safe mode. Now try it, see if it charges. If it does charge, and it didn't charge before, it did charge in safe mode, or even if it still doesn't charge, 
the last thing we can do is reload the stock firmware onto the phone. Mm -hmm. So there are a couple ways to do this. If you have a newer phone like an S10, download Samsung's Smart Switch utility. That's available for Windows and it's available for Mac. So it's great software. If you don't have a Mac or if you have an older phone, check out Odin, it's called, which is another good piece of software that was always used back in the day and still can be used mm -hmm. to flash Android firmware. That way, it'll put just a fresh copy of the operating system onto your phone. Make sure you have backups of all your data before you do that. Yep. And that should fix the problem. Yeah, we'll link to both of those in the description section below. If that doesn't work, your phone's probably broken. Right, gotta get a new phone or get it repaired. Yes. So if you wanna get it repaired, just bring it to a local cell phone repair shop. Mm -hmm. If you're under warranty, get in touch with Samsung or your cell phone manufacturer or yep. your carrier. If you want to get a new phone, upphone.com, mm -hmm. compare every cell phone from every carrier. Maybe you want to get a new phone. Time to upgrade. Perfect time. Yes. yes. Absolutely. So that's what to do when your Android won't charge. Thank you guys for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed. Leave us a comment down below with any questions. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great videos about cell phones.